In the last two presentations, we completed unsigned, signed and once complement representation of positive and negative binary numbers. In this lecture, we will learn how to represent positive and negative binary numbers using 2's complement. Positive number representation is not an issue because it is same as compared to unsigned, signed and once complement. For example, if you want to represent plus 6 in 2's complement, then simply it is 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the representation of positive binary number in 2's complement. Now we will move to negative number representation. In order to represent a negative number, first write the positive number and then take its 2's complement. So if we want to represent minus 6, first we have to write down plus 6 and the plus 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. And now we have to take 2's complement of 0, 1, 1, 0. And for 2's complement, first we have to take the 1's complement. So 1's complement of 0, 1, 1, 0 is simply the complement of these 4 bits. And we have 1, 0, 0, 1. This is 1's complement of plus 6. And now we will add 1 to it to obtain the 2's complement. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. We have 0 and 1. So 1, 0, 1, 0 is 2's complement of 0, 1, 1, 0. And simply 1, 0, 1, 0 is minus 6. Because in 2's complement, we represent negative number by taking 2's complement of the positive number. So this is very simple thing. We'll try to understand this by the help of one more example. Let's say we want to represent minus 4 in 2's complement. So first thing that we have to do is to find out plus 4. So plus 4 is simply equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. This is plus 4. And now we will take 1's complement of 0, 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 1, 0 is the 1's complement and uh, we will add 1 to it to obtain the 2's complement. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 1 is again 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1 and we have 1. So 1, 1, 0, 0 is the 2's complement of plus 4 and as we already know the negative number is represented by 2's complement. So 1, 1, 0, 0 is nothing but minus 4. Now we will move to next point. There is only one 0 in 2's complement. Only one 0 in 2's complement. If you remember the last presentation, I told you in case of 1's complement, we have two zeros. The first one is the positive 0 and the second one is the negative 0. But in case of 2's complement, we only have single 0. That is 0, 0, 0, 0. This is 4-bit representation of 0. And if you take 2's complement of these 4 bits, again you are going to get 0. So there is nothing like positive 0 and negative 0 as compared to 1's complement. Now we will talk about range of 2's complement number. In case of 2's complement, range is different as compared to unsigned and 1's complement. Range is minus 2 raised to power n minus 1, 2 plus 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1. So this is the range for 2's complement and it is different from the range of unsigned and 1's complement. And uh, if we talk about a 4-bit number, the small n is equal to 4 small n is equal to 4 so we have minus 2 raised to power 3 2 plus 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 2 raised to power 3 is 8 so we have minus 8 to plus 7 so this is the range for 4 bit number and you can clearly see we have we have 8 negative integers and we have seven, seven positive integers and we have in between we have one zero. So this is what we have when n is equal to four. 
If you want to convert negative number to a positive number, find its two's complement. For example, let's say the negative number is 1, 0, 1, 1. This is the negative number represented in two's complement and we want to find out the positive number. So we will take its two's complement again. So let's do it. We will take its one complement first. So we have 0, 1, 0, 0. This is one's complement and this number is already two's complement because this is negative number. Now I will add one to one's complement. This will give us one zero one zero. This is the two's complement. Let's see what we have done here. We have a negative number one zero one one and as I have already told you negative number is represented by two's complement. Now we want to convert this negative number back to positive. So we have to take its two's complement again and two's complement is 0 1 0 1. 0 1 0 1 is equal to plus 5. So 1 0 1 1 is equal to minus 5. So this is how you can convert negative number back to positive. Let's move to last point of this presentation. In two's complement representation MSB the most significant bit indicates sign. If MSB is equal to 1 this shows number is negative. Very simple. This is very important point and will help you in quiz. You can access the quiz at Nesso Academy Nesso academy.org there are quizzes for other lectures also and you will also find the solution of homework problem on nesoacademy.org so this is all for the lecture now we will move to homework problem in first homework problem you have to represent plus 5 and minus 5 in twos complement representation in second problem you have to represent minus 8 and in third problem you have to represent plus 8 and minus 9 and in this last problem try to represent plus 8 and minus 9 for 4 bit number and for 5 bit number once you have your answer post it in comment section so this is all see you in the next one